so you, whether you do know or don't know as part of the marketing for weathering waves in the united states um well, the kuro games went on a road trip across the u.s to kind of just highlight their game and one of their pit stops was new york city and they basically bought up all the screens at times square to show footage of their game that's coming out and we're just going to take a look at the quick video for that real quickly and um i've got things to say about it but first let's watch it here we go obviously starting with this song almost 9 p.m on may 11th Busy New York. It's been a while since I've been to New York. I'm due for something. There we go. They basically hacked all the screens in Times Square. Holy smokes, that looks beautiful. That's crazy. I wonder how much this would have cost. It's like literally every screen on time at Times Square. That's insane. Oh, almost every screen. I see the McDonald's ad. All the main screens. It looks so vibrant too. As intense. I'm also wondering if the music was playing at Times Square as well. Oh, but this this is pretty hype. This is actually really hype. Heck yes. This is too much. Too much? That's how much it costs? It costs too much? Well, clearly not too much for Kuro Games. They, they went all in. And this is actually great because the other game they worked on, Punishing Gra Graven, had like no marketing. And despite it being a good game for the two people that actually played the game um it was actually a good game but because it had no marketing no one played it, no one played it because no one knew about it We're, oh, like to this point there are people only uh discovering punishing gray raven because they're um head over heels and uh, super hype about playing weathering waves so this is great this is definitely a complete 180 of their previous game i think they've learned from their previous mistakes and they have gone very hard on marketing and this this is huge. This is absolute bonkers huge. I also know that they've had a very good or a very big splash in China um, uh, during at one of their cons. They had like a really big like uh, presence there as well. And that's been hype over there in China. Um, I've seen footage of that as well. But yeah, this is great. This is like get the hype train over the last 10 days before the game comes out. This is a good job on them real good job i i honestly wish i was at times square when this happened that would have been so hype the people actually just like freezing up and just staring at the screens even like older people that probably will never touch the game or took a moment to pause and look at everything that was happening it was great super hype